Alright, so we're gonna be jumping into game number four very, very oh. soon, boys. Uh, oh. Don't cancel the ready pro pro uh, process, man. There we go. Can Ready take it home? Can he bring it up to a tie score for the Risen community? Let's see, boys and girls. Jace, let's gonna be up for Cloud M. And uh, let's see what he's got. I like the map choice by uh, Jace. It's Belcher. It's gonna give him lots of high ground and ramps. And we all know Tarrant loves to get those concaves on top of ramps and uh, seize their tanks and mines, and then you run into them to your death. All right, let's jump into game number four, guys. This is going to be an awesome match. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a really quick drink so you can do the intros, and I'll be back in like five. Yep. I can do the intros because following his view and the camera's on there. Anyways, I'll do them anyways. Plotting in the bottom right, Risen, who just took a gave Risen a win, is ready. And spawning in the top left, Darren Player, representing Cloud M, Jason. And yeah, it looks like uh, JSET's going to take a high ground depot here. Pretty standard looking so far. I wouldn't guess he'd be doing a proxy. He's going to take a standard build, and same with our Zerg. He's going to want to take our fast expo. Yeah, it is going to be a fast expo. Um, <laughs> I'm or back. a standard expo, rather. Alright, put your camera back on me, Destroyer. Let's do this. Yes. Alright, so on the turn player side of the map, all G, all G. Um, we're gonna be having uh, Donald Trump's SUVC building up that real estate. So speaking of uh, speaking of real estate and whatnot, how much do you think that barracks is worth? Like, like how long do you think it would actually take in like real life to build? Oh man, I have no idea. They they got the 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 lift charger things, the fire packs. I don't even know, man. Millions. How of expensive dollars. would that be, man? It Millions. must be more even more expensive than Donald Trump's bill of electricity. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Alright, so, we're gonna be having uh, the SUV mining some minerals, gonna go build that beautiful, beautiful command center right now, dropping it down. Uh, Reaper's gonna be coming out shortly. Ready is ready. <laughs> ready to burn. He's sending his uh, overlords aggressively across the map. Is there a tactic here, Angel? Uh, well, I normally do the exact same. I don't think it's very aggressive. He's going to be wanting to get some scouting to see whether this is a Hellion opening or a 2 on one And it is going to be a 2 on one coming out of the Terran player. The other uh, Overlord's going to be wanting to scout between the Natural and the Third. Uh, right here, if we're going to ping it. And uh, he's going to want to keep it there to see any uh, units that would be moving in that direction. Uh, he's going to see the Reaper moving across the map. And uh, as every Zerg player does, he's going to have two Lings ready to defend. And if you don't respect your opponent, you make no Lings. Um. And yeah, if you know, these <laughs> links, these links are sacrificials, and he's gonna he's gonna go for her, and that's even safer. Oh! It's gonna give him even even a safer uh, state of mind, so he can draw up even harder. Nice defense so far by Ready. No harassment done by the Reaper. Uh, Jace took quite a bit of damage on that, so he's gonna be stopped uh, for a bit of harassment. Uh, Reaper's gonna come in. Queen's gonna pop out, and that's the end of this Reaper getting damage done. If uh, as long as he uh, the Zerg player micros it right, uh, I should say. So yeah, the Zerglings are going to be moving with that drone, looking to take this third base. Um, on the other side of the map, Jacelet's trying to prep up for that 2-on-1, dropping down that factory. Um, Zerg gets down the third base, no problem. And these Reapers are going to, I mean, excuse me, these Zerglings are going to chase this Reaper. Great micro so far by Ready. Hasn't lost a single one? Very impressive. Yep. And oh. there goes the first one. First blood is drawn. That's GG, man. I don't know how he's going to come back from this loss. Uh, the first blood, uh, 200 gold in uh, League of Legends is uh, very intense. Um, it, it's going to help him get his first item. We're going to be seeing that Lich Bane coming out on... Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about the uh, Zerg not dropping a tumor right off the bat and going straight for the injects? Is he trying to be aggressive here? Um, uh, uh, no, that's, that's pretty standard. I, I would drop it if I was going to go for a bailing bus. Um, I, I normally, but, um, most Zerg players will not drop that creeper for, that creep first, because they prefer to, um, get as many Zerglings out as they can, uh, to harass prior to the, the critical marine count coming out and the stim pack. 
This it's actually right? could do a significant amount of damage. I think he is trying to be aggressive here. Bailing boss? Yeah. Um, he does have a bailing, bailing nest in his main base just dropping down now. And the morphs are gonna come in. Blurp! Go morph them! Go, go, go! Oh, this actually might be a dropper lord? This is a dropper lord. Excuse me, guys. He I am once again behind behind the uh, behind the game. Uh, oh, Lings are gonna move in the front trying to draw the army out of position. Great plays by Ready so far. Sending more and more Zerglings across the map. He's looking to all in with this exact same build order as in last game, except... Okay, he needs to get those Banelings into the... There we go. Perfect. So he's gonna attack the front attack and, uh, simultaneously. This is looks awesome. Like he could, uh, it looks like he could... He could absolutely detriment the pro or the uh, Terran up front here. He's gonna yeah, he's gonna get quite a few SCVs done. Um, he's gonna move the Overlord finally in position. If he can get those, oh my God! And Terran player doesn't see this. It's just on the edge of his vision. Natural's gonna be cleaned up. Oh, oh my God! Yes, yes! Oh, oh my God, dude, that was insane. Absolutely Great. crippling the, the Terran player. Wow, great plays by the Zerg so far. He doesn't want to... I, I think he needs to drone up and start macroing. He wants to get that layer out, and he wants to just... Aw, oh, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. I guess he learned this build from me. Don't tell anyone, but I bailing bust quite a few Terran players. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great plays by the Zerg so far. Uh, oh, Dropper Lord, rather, is going to be sniped. Two medivacs are coming out. And counter, G-slits. Yep. The counter Can't. drop is very, very deadly here. Two drops full of stim marines. Yeah, this could do quite a bit. Um, he needs to start making Zerglings now. Zerglings, excuse me. 20 Zerglings are on a production tab, Bailings are coming out, great plays by Ready. Oh, he's gonna try and snipe these Overlords, that's gonna supply block the Zerg. And Jacelet doesn't react though, oh my god. And, and the Zerg is gonna see exactly where the Medivacs are going with that info. Um, he might be moving he across the map overlords. once again. He treats his Overlords like it's a ZVZ here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending him all out. Perfect plays though by Ready. Um, it's gonna be a multi prong by the Terran player. I'm hoping Ready does see this. He has a four crawler in his nat, his third base rather. Um, and that's very good for him. Drops are coming in. Ready scouted this. He's gonna start. Oh no! Okay. He has he split decision. He's gonna try and use steel control groups to split up these uh, units. Uh, oh the medevac. Okay. It doesn't get sniped down. We're good so far, guys. Uh, Marines like are coming into the third. By the Zerg. Great plays so far by Reddy. He's splitting up those control groups and uh, doing very well. Oh, this is better than defense than I do in my games, dude. This is sick. Great job. Oh, that Marine, that medevac. If you just target it down with the queen. Wow. I'm really, really satisfied with the play by Reddy so far. He's doing a great job. Terran player is only taking the second base now, and I don't know what to say, man. Um, things aren't looking very good. Jesa, you know, at first, uh, when the Bane bust hit, he could have maybe landed down there and maybe crawled his way back in while the drops were going off, but he's waited to do that, and now he's finding himself more and more behind as the time ticks on. Alright, so the Marines have been dropped in the main. No reaction as of yet for J-Slut. Can he do something with this? He's gonna stim, and Ready reacts. Oh, these Banelings! Oh, that always gives me a heart attack, man. I don't know how about you, but... Alright, so we're gonna be seeing another drop moving out. Continuing, if, if uh... If we could see a few, a counterattack by Reddy, maybe another drop roller with some banelings, he'd cripple the Terran economy and uh, win the game instantly, but I think he's more focused on defending and getting that drone count up. If we look at the units tab really quickly, you're going to see that it's 63 drones, 27 SCVs, so if he can hold this this advantage economically, uh, the game's over. There's no doubt about it. It's almost it's insurmountable at this point, but Terrans, Terrans, uh, Terrans do well in a scrappy game. If anybody can come back, it's Terran. Yep. True, true, true. Jace was trying to do exactly that. He's dropping all over. He's doing that 8 p.m. stuff. And uh, let's see what he's got. With speed banelings almost finishing, I don't think I don't think that I think his windows of opportunity is almost over here. And uh, as well as the spire. Um, if you look in the production tab really quickly, uh, we're going to be seeing no meatless um, popping out, but they're actually on the field. So that medvac's going to get sniped. And oh, this is terrible for Terran. I think this is just GG here. Great plays by the Zerg. He's doing a great job. Let's see if he can take this. That might Ooh. be a little premeditated by me, but I, I, it's going to be really hard for the Terran to... Oh! Terran's clawing his way back in, though. He's getting quite a few drone kills here, boys. Oh my god, almost gets taken down once again. This is some insane macro of the Terran. But at home, what is he doing? He's just starting to macro back up. He has no third CC, and that's never a good thing. He's quite far behind. does not think it's over. I gotta respect that. Let him play it out, man. It's always the way to do it. 
His mutilists are gonna try and snipe the medevac. Jacelet's ready and controlled it. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> oh wow, sick plays by Jacelet. He actually does get the medevac out, but it is gonna get sniped in the end. Um, on the other side, Jacelet's pushing across the map with quite a few widow mines, looking to take down a, a potential fourth base, but there is nothing there. With a uh, couple has... huge widow mine shots, I mean, he might be able to claw his way back in here. That is possible. All right, three medevacs. Let's see. If, I think if he doom dropped into the main right now, that'd be a great idea. Uh, snipe some tech. Uh, oh, Agreed. and that's exactly what he's gonna do. All right, let's see what he's got. Forcing the zerg to maneuver into the ba into the mines. Oh, but the zerg's quick on the oh, reaction. Oh, come on, go, go, go! Put the mines down now. Mines down now. All right, perfect. Oh, oh my god, dude! This could be insane. Oh, oh my god! Those wow! Are precisely the, the the hits he needed. And all these mutas are going down right now. He's coming back, man. I'm telling you. He chases with the mutas, and uh, Jason's micro is uh is, is giving him hope here. It is, man. He's actually he's pulling himself back in this game. But what does he have at home? There is still no third CC. There's only one one coming down right now. He may be getting some damage done, but what does the Zerg have? He he has already two two one done. And he's gonna probably be jumping on that t plus two carabas pretty soon. He has the death bolt that Zerg always wants, and he's gonna A move across the map. Oh, a move Zerg, OP. <laughs> Alright, so, um. A move Zerg across the map, and, uh, Jason's gonna sit there with that drop, and, uh. And the Zerg, I don't think, realizes that it's still there, but, uh, he's trying to get a death ball together, but again, no CCs going down. I'm thinking that the Zerg's just gonna push in and kill him right here if he does. It does seem that way. Jason's gonna turn him around though. Drop on the left, drop on the right, split the Zerg, have a good night. Um, but the Zerg is pushing in. Here we go, man. Into the Widow Mines. They are not Oh no. Don't don't do it. Oh. Alright, that's that's never a good sound. And there there goes the SCVs. <laughs> and that's gonna be a cleanup of J Slut. Um at home though, he's gonna try and base trade, but there's enough static defense that it's not gonna do much. Um, Reddy's coming into the base now, and uh, it's looking like a GG. Supplies dropping for Terran. 152 supply for Zerg, and 35 supply for Terran. And it will go to a 2-2. Two -two. Risen brings it back. Jason's still trying, though. Um, there's a huge blob of Zerg on your base, bro. What are you doing? Uh, these Marines are still fighting it out. He's not giving up to the last building. He's going to play this game until to his heart's content. Oh, that would have been shot. The does kill itself. Is that is very true. And so Ready takes in yeah, second game off of Cloud M. We're gonna be jumping into a, a diamond a diamond final match. Let's see what they got.